for the planet of the apes, stars Andy Serkis and others. The apes and humans are still fighting, and Caesar now she wants to stop the war. Matt Reeves directed this movie. He directed the last one. His next project is a Batman. It should be a good movie. He wants it to be a Hitchcockian crime thriller. I'm a casual apes fan. I've seen most of the movies. I haven't seen Beneath or Battle. Tim Burton's remake was lame. I was 14, 15 when I seen it. Rise was good. I've seen it twice. Dawn was great. I haven't seen it since the cinema. I've seen it open a night with my cousins. War was great. It's the best apes movie. Trilogies are popular. Everyone wants to make a trilogy, maybe because of Star Wars. The number three is unlucky, or you could say curse, because of William Wrighton and maybe fatigue. Spider-Man 3 is an infamous sequel, but whatever. War for the Planet of the Apes easily could have been half-assed or inferior to the previous movies, but it's really well made. It's a thrilling, well-acted war movie. Andy Serkis was good. It's his best performance as Caesar. Some people feel he should be nominated for an Oscar. Sadly, the Academy feels motion capture doesn't qualify as acting. I'm honestly not bothered by it. I feel indifferent. Maybe Andy feels indifferent too. Maybe the Academy will eventually reconsider. Caesar truly is a complex character. Does anyone feel he's bland? Caesar doesn't want to fight. He wants the apes and humans to live in peace, but some wanted to fight. Koba and Gary Oldman started this war. Caesar struggles with hatred. War is nasty to anybody. Yeah, it's a small part of the movie. Woody Harrelson was good. His screen time was only 20 minutes, like in the edge of 17 last year. The Colonel is a ruthless guy who wants to kill all the apes. He sounds like a generic villain, but that's not the case. You understand why he's doing these awful things. He wears sunglasses sometimes, even at night. What do you think? Jesus Christ, Pepper. Ow! We're in New York City. This shit don't fly around here. Steve Zahn plays Bad Ape the comic relief. Steve is funny sometimes, but not here. Bad Ape was lame. He's not intentionally funny. He's awkward. I'm sure a lot of people feel he was a major risk. I disagree. But that doesn't matter because even if he was a major risk, he couldn't have sunk this movie. CGI naturally has come a long way since the early 2000s. You could argue it's not a huge leap, but it's still good. The apes look great. It's easy to forget they're digital. These artists are truly talented. If Gollum didn't look good, or if he looked clunky, I suppose, Avatar wouldn't have happened. Now James Cameron wants to make four sequels. That's crazy, man. Keep in mind, this movie isn't fun. It's not lighthearted. It's really serious. It's a bleak, depressing war movie, so you gotta be in the right mood. This may sound really random. I couldn't get into Whippets Has Fallen at first because I wasn't in the right mood. <laughs> Keep in mind, this movie isn't an action movie. It's a drama with some action thrown in. It has three action scenes. The second one was small, but still good. Maybe the third trail would spoil the climax, but it doesn't matter because I've seen it only once. War for the Planet of the Apes gets an A. It's the best Apes movie. It should be the last one. It's a thrilling, well-acted war movie. It's dark, but I don't think it's too dark. Andy Serkis gave his best performance as Caesar. Woody Harrelson was great. Have you seen War for the Planet of the Apes? Did you like it or hate it? Thanks, as always, for watching, guys. Shares are appreciated. My Twitter link is down below. I'm excited for Valerian and Dunkirk. If you're new to my channel, please consider subbing me. I review movies and trailers. I'll talk to you later. Alrighty then.